Well, unfortunately, what we've had in the UK since 2010, when the coalition um, government, which was obviously the majority um, Conservative government, um, brought in austerity measures across the UK with a view to balancing the books, um, seeking to actually tackle the financial crisis. The, that austerity programme has been disastrous. We have a government that's borrowed more and more money than the previous administration. But what, was, what resulted from that was pay increases being pinned back to um, a maximum of 1% over a long period of time. We've seen some relaxing of that in the last couple of years, but not to the extent that it would in any way, shape or form recover those um, pay differentials that have been lost since 2010. And what we have as a result of that is that um, workers in the MOD in Gibraltar are subject to those UK austerity pay increases. So therefore we are seeing MOD workers in Gibraltar having their pay unfairly pinned back by UK government policies. You say in your press release that Gibraltar is a booming economy and the MOD salaries currently don't reflect that, but of course the MOD salaries are based on what's happening in the UK, aren't they? Well, they are, but if you look at the situation in terms of the, um, the, you know, the, the IPR in, in terms of Gibraltar, if you look at April 2010 when the austerity measures um, followed just not, not long after that compared to April 2019, um, there's been an increase in prices of just over 20%. What that means is that for um, back in April 2010, one pound in Gibraltar um, is actually worth 83 pence today. So the reality is that if pay does not keep up um, in terms of the inflationary increases in Gibraltar, our members working in the, in the MOD are getting progressively poorer. Their spending power is, is progressively lessened. And as a result of that, our members in the MOD are enjoying or suffering you know a reduction in their cost of living so you know what we are saying is that you know Gibraltar is a special case um, it should not be a one-size-fits-all in terms of pay policy for for the MOD um, there should be dialogue around you know what are the special circumstances in relation to Gibraltar and how do we address those to actually make sure that wages for the MOD workers in Gibraltar keep pace with those within the other public sector um, areas in in you know here in Gibraltar and also indeed within the private sector as well. So what is the nature of your pay claim? What are you asking for? So what we're, what we're basically saying is that the, you know, the MOD's pay policy, they do have the capacity to step outside of their pay policy. Um, there has to be obviously a business case in relation to that to justify that. Uh, what we are saying is that we want to retain parity. Parity of the MOD has been you know, a long fought for um, campaign by Unite and one that we're proud of, proud of. We're not seeking to break parity, but what we are saying is that there is the ability for the MOD to look at some sort of an allowance um, for workers in Gibraltar um, or also to take a step away from the pay rises that they apply in the UK. Um, and you know there are examples of that. There's examples of that in terms of London allowance in the UK. There's examples of that of the cost of living allowance that's available to overseas workers that are posted here in Gibraltar from the UK. So there is the capacity to come up with a solution um, that meets the aspirations of our members here in um, Gibraltar working for the MOD. And if you don't get that solution, what steps will you take? Well, we will obviously consult with our members. We've been consulting with our members throughout this, and this has brought us to this position. Um, all options are on the table, um, and I'm sure your question will be, does that include industrial action? Of course, that will be an option on the table, but that will be in, in consultation with our members, um, with our activists, and with our stewards in terms of whether that's a step that we take. We, we are, first of all, formulating our pay plan, our pay, our pay claim. Um, that will be going to London um, to, you know, to, to speak to the MOD in London and the Joint Forces Command. Um, a delegation of our reps from um, Gibraltar will be going to that meeting in London to present um, the pay claim and to articulate the issues that our members in M the MOD here are, are suffering from. Um, and obviously, if we make progress, then great. If we don't, then we obviously need to look at what our options are in terms of next steps.